Welcome back to the channel, BMF Speed Shop. So uh, I want to talk to you guys about the best way to protect your vehicles from the salt brine and the salt that they're putting on the roads today. So I do this stuff on all my vehicles, but I never made a video about it. So I thought I would touch base. So in my opinion, the best way you can protect your vehicle if you live in a northern climate where they put salt on the roads all the time is this stuff right here. It's called fluid film. So this is basically uh, wool wax, it's called. And it comes from the sheep's natural oils in its fur and wool. It's really a great product. It's not hazardous to your health or anything. It's good for the environment. And uh, I just want to show you guys a little bit about what I use and how I use it. So. When I get this stuff, I got all the shock towers um, inside and out. I get inside each panel, uh, the hood, the fenders, the doors. Um, I have two little guns here that I bought. Each gun was about $10. Um, they're called an undercoating gun. And since it's cold out here, this is kind of my setup. I boil a bunch of water with my little uh, Mr. Heater here. And then I'll drop that can right in the boiling water until this product gets really warm, viscous, really warm. It has a better viscosity when it's warm. And then I'll cut about one eighth or one part to every eight parts of this of canola oil just to thin it out a little bit so that it sprays. Um, that's a vegetable oil. You can use just about any vegetable oil, um, whatever you want to uh, cut it out. But uh, then you get up in here and you go to town with it. Like I said, you spray inside uh, and outside. I got behind all these plastic panels. So these cars are a unibody, so they don't really have a frame. So um, that whole subframe area, I get inside and out. And then uh, up underneath the car, same thing. Uh, that's the frame rails and the torque box, I guess you would call it. And uh, just go to town with this stuff. And I'm going to tell you right now, it really works. Um, this is a relatively rust-free vehicle. So I got in here right away. Um, hasn't really been driven in Wisconsin winters. And uh, we just went to town with this stuff. And now I don't ever have to worry about my wife's seabird rusting out where they like to rust out. So um, I got the front half done. Let's see any tips or pointers. Um, the way I do it, I may have like a little bucket where I mix the stuff up and then I pour it in a filter in the gun. Um, that's really about it. The stuff is 50 bucks for a gallon. It takes you a day or whatever to take all the panels off or get in here and jack it up and get in all the spots, but definitely worth it. So if you're looking for a way to stop rust in its tracks, even if your vehicle's already started to rust, put this on there. If it hasn't started to rust, put it on there. Um, if you don't know how to put it on there, send me an email. I'll help you out. So uh, thanks for watching.